foot six, a Fairhaven woman has died just over a week after her family believes that she contracted triple E. And it appears they got she, she got sick at a family celebration. The people who knew her are stunned. WBZ's Bill Shields has our story tonight from Fairhaven. Triple E is, is real. It, it's not just something that happens at uh, faraway places. It's here. And, and people to take the precautions necessary, you know, thinking that it couldn't happen to them, but it could. You know, it's, it's tragic. For 17 years, she sold real estate with David Pelletier. But it was family that really defined Laurie Sylvia. The mother of three lived her life for her family. Laurie lived here in Fairhaven, where these bicyclists were enjoying a perfect day to ride today. But all four said they were aware of Laurie's death and the threat from Triple E and mosquitoes. It's always in the back of your mind, but I'm not going to stop living because of it. Well, you got to be careful. You, know, you, know, uh, you got to put the uh, spray on. Despite being rushed to Tufts Medical Center, doctors could not save Laurie from Triple E. Now the Sylvia family has lost their spark, and Pelletier Real Estate has lost the light that lit up the room. Not too many people like her come across, you know, come about in this lifetime, and to have known her was, you know, a privilege, and it's absolutely a shock and uh, heartbreaking. One of Laurie's family members told me today that they allowed a full autopsy in hopes that it would provide researchers some sort of clue to help fight Triple E. In Fairhaven, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Thank you, Bill. The risk level for Triple E was raised to critical in Methuen today because the disease was found in a horse there. And the only thing that will truly end the threat will be the first hard frost of the season. Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher joins us now. And Eric, that's still a ways off. Yeah, it may have felt like the colder air is coming earlier on this morning, but when it comes to a hard frost, we're talking temperatures at least 32 degrees. It's a ways off, especially for the south coast. A place like Fairhaven, it tends to be at the end of October or even early November before we get temperatures at or below the freezing mark. Of course, it does happen a little bit earlier, farther off to the north and west. But around the Boston area, in the city, the south coast, the islands, it's much later on the season that we see that first real hard frost. 